Hello everyone! Welcome to Kash Japanese Cooking! Today, I want to show you how to make baby food 7 to 8 months old. I hope you enjoyed my baby food in Japan series. Did you recreate my recipe? I hope so. And today, Sui-chan is not sleeping, so my family families are here. They are toy poodles, so they will be the guests of this video. In my previous video, I introduced 7 to 8 months old carbohydrate recipe. So this time, I'll show you the Japanese style protein recipe for baby today. During this video, I'll show you the tips and techniques to make baby food easily and delicious. Okay, I'm ready to cook. Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. So at first, let's defrost dashi soup stock. Let's say medium heat. And in the meantime, we prepare tuna, canned tuna. And I'll pour water just to cover the tuna in the microwave. While preparing tuna to be cooked, let's cut tofu. Let's use one quarter. So let's cut this tofu into small pieces. Of course, you don't need to cut. You can just crush. Okay, and then tuna cooked for two minutes is done. And as you see, there are so many oil floating. So let's strain with using this. And I will pour like this and take out the excess oil and water. Okay, now dashi soup stock is boiling, so let's turn off the heat. Okay, and I'll show you the interesting ingredients. This is ohu, wheat gluten. And in Japan, we use wheat gluten for many other dishes. For baby food, it's going to be the substitution of carbohydrate also. Characteristics of this Hendai food is they have a little bit oil. So if you care about oil, please take out the brown part and please grate the white part and move it to the container. I also want to introduce interesting ingredients. This is powdered tofu. We have many kinds of tofu and since it's powder time, so it's easy to make a paste means it's good for baby food. And if you can find the powder type tofu, you can also use a dry tofu. It tastes great, like I did in a wheat gluten. Okay, so base is done. We have a tofu, silken tofu, and grated wheat gluten, and powder type tofu. Now let's prepare for toppings. I found the chopped veggies. It has a carrot, broccoli, cauliflower, paprika and one more spinach and five veggies in here and it's all finely chopped and it's good size for seven to eight months baby to save time I just bought from supermarket let's defrost these veggies and this is the tuna that we cooked it's grind to make smaller okay the tuna is done and we don't use this anymore so let's clean this Let's add toppings. I will add one tablespoon dashi and uh, wheat gluten. This wheat gluten has a very natural flavor. So I don't want to add a strong flavor for this. So I will add kinako. Okay, next. This is a potato starch. And I use this potato starch for many other things, even to make gyoza wrappers. Let's make a starchy dashi little by little. And suddenly, the texture will change. So you have to be careful. Okay. Now it's getting starchy, let's turn off the heat. And then I want to add a little bit Japanese flavor. I one drop of soy sauce. So I pour starchy dashi on top of the tofu. Then I will add tuna on it, chopped veggies. So let's add veggies. And then let's cook a little bit. Let's say one minute. The sauce looks beautiful. And let's add to the tofu powder. The protein recipe for 7 to 8 months baby is done! So how was the recipe today? I hope you learned many things in this video. It might be hard to get the Japanese ingredients, especially wheat gluten 
or uh, powdered tofu. So in this case, please find substitutions. So please be flexible. And if you want to make Japanese flavor baby food, I strongly recommend to make a dashi, starchy dashi. If you want to add a little bit of flavor, please also add soy sauce. Oh, just a little bit. And don't forget potato starch. And making baby food sometimes hard work and takes time. So in this case, and please use pre-made product. So I'll show you the ingredients that I use when I'm busy or tired. <laughs> this is the powdered miso soup economy package from seven months. And this is a toromi no moto powdered starch. And it's from five months. You can make everything starchy. And of course you can mix um, potato starch and hot water and heat until the texture you like. You can also do that. And this is the starchy dashi pre-made package. You just want to use a little bit, just a one teaspoon. In this case, I use this product. So this product save time. So I recommend to use the pre-made package as well. Do you remember the tip? Tip, please use silken tofu for making baby food. It's a good texture. But if you can find silken tofu, it's okay to use dry tofu or farm tofu. And tip, I recommend to prepare the potato starch to make starchy sauce. I like this too. It comes little by little. So you can control the texture of starch. And tip to make Japanese baby food, dashi or starchy dashi is the must. So please prepare dashi soup stock in advance. You can freeze dashi with using ice cube maker. And I put dashi soup stock recipe in my another video. So please check it out. Okay, so thank you for watching everyone. How was the recipe today? If you have any questions and requests, please write a comment. So see you next time. Bye.